video on that one, Shaddy. I just want to try to beat Brax. It's for my own good to beat him in practice. Yeah. Most, most handsome guy in the world right here. It's a game we all started playing because it was fun. I don't think that never really goes away. And I think when you go out there, you play the best when you have fun doing anything. I think anyone can relate to any of their hobbies or any of their work they do themselves. It's fun, it just makes it so much easier and easier to do. And if you do anything with a smile, it's, it's a blast. And you want to keep that as long as you can. No, I'm wearing yellow. I don't want to be on camera. <laughs> yeah, when you, uh, when you can't get hit, you got to wear the, the colorful jersey so everybody knows to stay away from you. <laughs> Sure enough, Mr. Getzlaff hopped on the opportunity to make fun of it. So I, uh, I get to pose as Big Bird today on the ice. Today uh, we did some, we're doing these really old school uh, wood fired kind of New York style pizzas, which I grew up with. We have a lot of, you know, whether musicians or, or you know, athletes that, that their only kind of sense of home is uh, maybe a hot meal. And um, so when you find something you like, you go to that city and it kind of makes you, you know, hopefully give you a little piece of uh, familiarity, a little bit of home. And you get kind of set in your ways after a few years in the league where you got your spots and whether it's superstitious or you just felt good going to a few spots, you end up going back to them. I think we're used to, you know, the basic team dinners right now, just at the hotels and for um, someone to reach out to us and provide us with a, a very good meal. Um, those, uh, those wood fire pizzas, they were really good. So um, I think that was something that we was, was really exciting uh, for the guys on the team, have something, a little, uh, little change up. So it, it was really nice. We're so grateful. We're grateful for, the, for reaching out and uh, giving us some love and, uh, and hopefully we'll give you some right back and, and feed you guys. You know, the fact that we have FaceTime and all these, you know, great ways of, of connecting with our families now, um, it helps, you know, for, in a big way to be able to connect with them. Hello. Hello. What's up? Yeah. Is he home? Is the madman uh, home? The wild man is home. <laughs> and how's, Connor. how's that little princess doing? He's so good. Oh my god. She looks oh, like she's yeah. out. Uh, baby Isla's, uh, you know, just been great. I mean, it's been only a few days, but, um, you know, a few long days, I would say. Uh, but we're, we're adjusting, and, and everyone obviously is, is so in love with her. And um, our, our son Connor is, you know, feeling her out still, for sure. Can you give your baby sister a kiss? Give Isla a kiss. Give her a kiss. No, not in the Oh, thank, thank you, you bud. I'll okay, talk to you I'm soon. Cool. Oh, he called. He, he pushed the red button. <laughs> I think it is kind of a balance of, you know, keeping each other safe and adhering to protocols and then, you know, can we get creative to, to have that team togetherness on the road, free time where you want to, you know, be able to spend time with each other. The ability for us to be able to come to the rink, um, be with, you know, our peers, um, you know, a lot of people in, in regular day life aren't getting that opportunity and I think there's a, there's a certain mental health aspect to that. You know, I think we're at a luxury here that we get the opportunity to do that and, and you know, we get to come to work and, and do what we love. Um, but we get to have that, that social interaction which a lot of people are lacking right now in their lives.